hello, hello, hello. It is me, the Delaware blogger, and I thought I was not going to be able to get this Friday's, finally Friday's question of the day in. So I popped over to Anchor FM and I just recorded the question first over there. So if you, first of all, if you haven't started your own Anchor FM station, you need to just download the app from your iPhone or your Android device and you can become your own DJ, your own podcaster, your own broadcaster. It is so much fun. It is a great way to record your thoughts um, using that app. So it's, uh, what is it? Anchor FM. So hello, Brooke. Hello, Chris. Today's Friday question in honor of the opening of Girls Trip, the movie starring Jada Pinka Smith and my girl Queen Latifah and all the rest of the hilarious cast. Today's Friday's question is, is social media a substitute for a summer sister's getaway? or a brother's breakout. Meaning, are we using social media to connect um, virtually and giving up our relationships physically with our family and our friends? So I want you to leave the comment below or go over to Anchor FM. You can actually call in and record your message. So the question for Friday, do we use social media as a substitute for a sister's summer getaway or brother's bonding breakaway? Should we connect more uh, physically than we do virtually? Hello, Beth, Brooke, Chris. I want you to answer that question. Now, Brooke, I saw you got away, which is great. There's always something about bonding with friends. And Beth, I do miss um, you seeing you. Oh, and you actually saw the movie. Was it good? I hope so. You know what? I do not have the patience to sit in a movie theater, but I definitely do want to see this movie Girls Trip because they are celebrating friendship. So again, Friday's question is, hey, Keon, you just popped in, but today's question is, are we using social media as a substitute for a sister's uh, getaway or a brother's bonding takeaway? We shouldn't allow social media to do that. So answer the question either here or over on Anchor FM or head over to my blog, which is dellblogger.com. So the question one again, is social media a substitute or should we let social media become a substitute for a sister's summer getaway or a brother's bonding, you know, takeaway? Um, So answer that question here. It's going to become a blog post and we're going to talk about Girls Trip. Beth, I want to hear more about Girls Trip. And you know what? I just I just read a review from the New York Times and they gave it like multiple thumbs up. But the one good thing about it and Brooke, you can appreciate this. Queen Latifah's character is a blogger. Yes, she is a blogger. So blogging is definitely mainstream. And you guys know I am the Delaware blogger and I can help you create your blog. I can help you um, improve your blog. And if you sign up at Dell Tech Community College, you know I'm offering, well, I'm going to be teaching those three sessions, nine hours, and it's only $99. And you're going to get so much information. So social media, are we using it as a substitute for a sister's summer getaway or bonding or brother's bonding weekend? That's the question. Um, I just want to let you know, if you missed any of the posts this week, head over to dellblogger.com. On Monday, we talked about, um, oh, what did we talk about? Oh, speaking of social media, tips on releasing social media stress. So there were some great tips over there. I'm looking forward to hearing yours as well. On Wednesday, which was way back Wednesday, we talked about millennial mishaps, boomer bloopers, and senior slip-ups. You know, when you're walking around, you got your glasses on top of your head and you're looking all over the place for your glasses. You don't know where they are. 
tell me what you've ever done that you know you just slipped up got in line didn't have your wallet couldn't pay for something got out of the shower with shampoo in your hair you forgot to rinse it out or even forgot to wash your hair so head over to dellblogger.com and check out way back wednesday for millennial mishaps boomer bloopers and senior slip-ups and today if you haven't seen it it's hot, right? It is so hot. And wherever you are, I hope that you're being cool. Check on your elderly. Check on your pets. Check on anybody that may, you know, that you may think um, is not um, cognizant of this heat. Um, because this is no time. This is no joke. Um, so check on your friends and your family and check the backseat of your car, parents. Always, always, always. And today is about you don't want to cook in the kitchen. It's too hot in the kitchen. Get out of the kitchen. Then throw some kebabs on the grill. So there's a great recipe for beef kebabs. I used onions and mushrooms and red peppers. So you can use whatever you want, but it's a great recipe for the weekend. So again, don't forget, leave a comment. Are we using social media as a substitute for a sister's summer getaway or a brother's bonding breakaway? I want you to have a fabulous Friday, a wonderful weekend, and Sunday's podcast is going to be deep. And for any of you parents that have kids, I shouldn't call them kids, but any of you parents that have students that are leaving and going away to college, Juanita, welcome. I think you might be interested because we're going to be quoting and pulling some statistics from Planned Parenthood. The topic is social media, sex, and students, and we know there are a lot of sexual assault, assaults um, being reported all across this country. And for our kids, I should always call them kids, but for our students who are leaving home for the very first time, it's a scary situation. And it's not a new situation because I remember of an incident that actually happened to me in 1982 or 1983 so this is nothing you know new this is just you know it's being reported now and even our you know past uh vice president biden um talks about this so tune in sunday for the podcast it's going to be social media sex and students and my special guest is veronica loving and she is actually an author out of california who wrote the book Feeding a Monster, and she's going to talk about sexual abuse not only on her for herself, but her daughter and how her husband, who was a minor league uh, player, um, was the abuser. I don't want to leave you on a downer, but I want you to know that this important. There's important things that we need to talk about. So again, Friday, 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 yay! When I get home, hubby and I have a sneakers and sandals event that the omegas are having down in Smyrna. so the cues will be in full effect in Smyrna, and i'll probably come back with that but today i want you to tell me are we using social media as a substitute for bonding with our gal pals and our buddies so until later probably from Smyrna, i will see you if i don't stay safe stay smart and stay social and you know I'm going to see you in cyberspace. God bless. I love you. Bye-bye.